It's that time of year again. I'm gonna show you guys how creative my family was for this Christmas's little DIY showdown. Hey there, welcome back to Lima Bean Living. If you guys are new here, my name is Emily. Welcome to my little motherhood channel. In a Christmas video last year, I shared a new tradition that my family was gonna be trying out for Christmas. We are totally cutting out giving the adults gifts and we are doing two different gift exchanges. Now, this year we took out one of them just because of the whole COVID stuff, you know, everything going on, we just kind of simplified it and just did our little DIY uh, kind of white elephant gift exchange, but at the same time not. So if you want a little bit more information on that, I will link that video up above so that you guys can check that out. But in this video, I will just be showing you guys all of the cool DIYs that my family came up with, at least those who chose to participate this year. I walked away with another one of my sister's cups. That is just how the raffles turned out. This is an awesome like insulated cup that she did like epoxy and glitter with and it's a different size than last year. So I'm excited because I really like them and it keeps my drinks cold for a super long time. Now in a previous video, I gave you guys a little sneak peek at my cement geometric succulent holders and that is what I chose to try out this year. I saw an awesome tutorial online and I just had to give it a go myself. I will be posting my tutorial video on my lima bean crafting channel so I will link that video up above as well as my crafting channel link if you guys want to check those out. Usually I do really easy Dollar Tree DIYs and in some ways that little vase was a Dollar Tree DIY as well because I used a Dollar Tree plastic binder to make my little cement molds. So go ahead and check that out if you guys want to see how I actually made my DIY. My brother made a really cool coat hanger that was like a bunch of wooden pieces put together and it just lies flat on your wall. But after you hang it up, you can just pull one of the wooden pieces down and now you can hang a hat or a jacket. I That was my first choice that I wanted to win but I didn't get called, unfortunately. My dad spent about eight months making his DIY of a like utensil holder and he learned a lot and that's just something that like we kind of embrace as a crafty family is let's try a new technique and see if we can make things better for the next time. So I think he said he's not gonna be making this again, at least this complicated with all the hexagons, but his thing turned out really nice. And my mom also had a wooden themed craft. She saved some of the logs of wood from our backyard when they cut their trees. And I don't know what tool she used, but she cut out these little holes and put candles in it. And it makes for a really pretty centerpiece for a dining room table. I kind of was interested in that one as well, and I didn't win it. My sister-in-law made a succulent uh, kind of craft DIY thing herself. She put together this little wooden planter and used some of the succulents that she had growing at her house and put that together. So it was kind of cool that we came up with a similar idea without really even consulting one another. Then, as I mentioned, my sister made a glitter cup and two of her daughters participated as well. We had a creativity box, I think it was, with uh, stickers and pictures from one of my nieces. And then my oldest niece uh, sewed together a little uh, bag out of fabric and made some like paper ninja stars that she folded and made herself. Juan did not participate this year. Last year, if you guys remember, he used a piston from a truck and turned it into a clock. And then he ended up making one for my mom and it's sitting back here because uh, she was really bummed that she didn't win it <laughs> during the auction. So it was kind of cool because like I'm looking forward to making more of my cement vases. And now that I kind of like know how it goes, I think I can whip up a bunch and I'm excited for when we like kind of move into our own place. I can have like a uniform like 
potted plants and I can know how to make it really easily. So I have a lot of cement left over and I think I can whip up a lot of these guys and probably make even bigger ones as well. But that wraps up all of those DIYs. If you guys watched a previous video, you saw that I did even more DIYs. I made my own hot chocolate like cocoa bombs. So I will link that video up above too because that is definitely worth watching and trying if you guys need to give a creative gift to someone who doesn't necessarily want something tangible around their house, but rather something that they can enjoy, like hot chocolate. Thank you again for watching this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. That really helps out my channel. And if you guys are new here, I would love for you to stick around and subscribe. I post every Monday and Friday, and it's just a variety of motherhood content because us moms have to take care of a bunch of different stuff. So why not cover it all here? <laughs> Don't forget that you guys are loved and made for greatness and I will catch you in the next one. made it to the end of the video. If you didn't know already, my name is Emily from Lima Bean Living. Welcome. We are so happy to have you. We post videos every Monday and Friday on a variety of content, lifestyle, cooking, cleaning, military life, DIYs, encouraging mathematical development in children, and so much more. Thank you so much again for watching and until next time.